Hi guys, welcome to Lyrixa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video we will talk about shell expansions. But before start the lab session we need to understand few points which is what is shell expansion and their use cases. So basically bash shell expansion is powerful feature that allow you to modify and manipulate words before the shell execute a command. It is essential a series of operations that perform on words after they are passed from the command line. These expansions make writing efficient and brief scripts while providing flexibility for various tasks. For example, if I go on my Linux terminal and uh, I want to create three files, we could run touch file 1, file 2, file 3 like this. Am I right? Or what we can do, we can use braces expansion and just run touch say file say 4 dot dot 9 that's it so you can see file 4 file 5 6 7 8 9 is available for us another example would be to delete all the files that have name that start with file so i can go rm hyphen rf file and star it's gone so this is known as wildcard expansion so collectively these features are called shell expansions so here I'm going to demonstrate you types of shell expansion and their use cases. So let's start the lab session and currently you can see I'm on Linux terminal. Let me show you the OS release version. I am currently using RHEL 9.3, RHEL Enterprise Linux 9.3. So let's talk about type of shell expansions and we will cover one by one. We start first of all with braces expansion. Braces expansions means uh, expansions of expressions within braces. Here we are expanding the value between the braces. It allows you to specify a range or set of characters within the single command. We can use double dot syntax which expand to a sequence. For example, uh, like echo file say 1 to 10 dot txt. It means it will, it will cre create 10 files for us. File 1, file 2, file 3 till file 10 dot txt. So, like another one, I can also go with echo, say file uh, a comma a sorry a comma b to one comma two dot txt. So what it will do? It will create. Uh, it will show me the file a one dot txt, a two dot txt, b one dot txt, b two dot txt. A practical use case of braces expansion is to quickly create multiple files or directory. Like I want to create mkdir rgl and inside the bracket I said 7, 8, 9. So here you can see rel7, rel8 and rel9 is available for us. So basically it allows the creation of multiple string within a common pattern. Let's move to another one which is tilde expansion. The tilde character, this one. So tilde character match the current user home directory. If world starts with tilde, character then the shell will expand the tilde into the value of dollar home variable for example let's me create let me create a jack user account with user at utility you can see jack is successfully created and think about i want to copy this anaconda ks.cfg file from here to jack user account so i can just simply mention j tilde jack that's it now you can see ls tilde jack. I reach the file is reached successfully over there, and you can also go with the absolute path slash home slash jack. So here slash home slash jack is equal to tilde jack, which represents jack user home directory path. Right? Let's move to the another one. Like we have one more which is command substitution. The other form of expansion that starts with the dollar symbol is command substitution. This form of expansion instructs the shell to run a specified command. It allows the output of a command to repeat the command itself. Syntax is very simple. Uh, dollar and inside the bracket you mention command. What command you want to run. Right. So for example, I'll go uh, echo. Today date is dollar date and uh, i can i pass percentage a right uh, close it done today date is thursday something like that this will show me the current day of the week i can run any command output with this pattern like ls minus l 
say dollar which blue which I see H which like P A W S W D oh sorry L S minus L or hyphen L yep here it is so here you can see I got the full path of P A W S W D command using which command and got the long listing format so this is how you can use command substitution another expansion is arithmetical expansion Arithmetic expansions are used to perform basic mathematical operation in the bash. This function, this expansion is bad in bash is facilitates uh, the execution of mathematically operation within double precincents, providing a consist method for numerical calculation. Syntax is very simple. Again, echo double, you can mention exp or e double si on your expressions here like this this is the syntax so for example let's make a result variable that will hold my mathematical operation output result r e s u l t and i'll go with dollar then twice two plus three and just done so now i can go eco my c u s t m custom variable output is or variable value is value is dollar result r e double u l t okay i give the wrong sp uh, wrong spelling but i'll go with the same one and here you can see i got the result right another example could be echo the result of 12 into 5 is I said again dollar twice 12 into 5 twice close and close it the result of 12 into 5 is 60 so by you using this way you can use mathematically operation right next one is parameter expansion the dollar symbol introduce parameter expansion it instructs the shell to replace the following word or expansions within the value of variable. For example, eco dollar user. Sorry, eco dollar user. This would print your user name stored in the user variable. When dollar symbol used is used, this indicates that the shell is going to be performed parameter expansion, which expand variable or the parameters of a script. Let's make a new variable and call the value value. I said name is equal to round. Now echo my name is dollar name. That's it. N A M E. My name is Ram. So using dollar variable, it allow dynamic referencing and manipulation. Enhance the flexibility and functionality of script and commands in the bash shell, right? Our next and last expression is path name expansion, which is known as globling. So path name expansion, also known as globling in bash, uh, in bash involving matching files name and directories using wildcard characters like uh, star, like your uh, caret, like your question mark with the help of this one. So for example, for example, uh, or you can say globling is the method of pattern matching in the shell using special characters to create a pattern that match the file. For example, ls boot star dot img. So what does it mean? It means it will list all the file with the dot image extension. This powerful feature simplifies working with multiple files and directories in the bash shell. Just imagine that you have a big uh, n number of files in a particular directory and you want to go globling feature. Let's create a one directory for you. I'll make a directory name blob and I go to over there. Then I create some file like this pattern. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Data, Eco, Able, Baker, Cast, Talk, Easy, 1, 2, 3, and Linux. So here we have some file which is in uppercase character, some is in lowercase character, some is number format, right? Now I want to implement globling feature here. Or you can say uh, our path name expansion. So how I can use it? 
So let me show you one very common example or common pattern match. First of all, I'll start with ls a star. It means match all the files starting with a. So you can see Abel and alpha is there, right? Another match could be ls star a, not a star. This time, this time star a. It means match all the file ending with a. So alpha a and delta a ending on a. Then we can use ls uh, star a star. It means match all the files containing a character anywhere like able, alpha, mid or last or starting anywhere. I can go one more pattern like match all the files starting with a or c. So I got the file able, alpha, cast and charlie. Even I can also use exclude pattern. Hey, show me all the files not starting with a or c. So this time I can use caret symbol. Or if I'm not wrong, let me try. I can use exclamation mark also. Yeah, I got the same result from both. You can go with anyone. I can give the range also. Hey, show me the files ranging from A to C, which is starting from A to C. So Abel, Alpha, Breaker, Barbo, Cast, Charlie, A to C. We can also use three character. Show me the files match the files that exactly have three character. So if I go, you can see three character. We have one, two, three and dog. Show me the files with all lower character. So I can use all with lower character. Similarly, I can go all the files with upper character. So here you can see if I go with upper, I have only one file, which is Linux, right? Here you can see Linux is an upper file. I can pass one more which is match all the files with digit character. So digit I have only one, one, two, three. So guys, this is how if I go with the history, this is how we can go with different, different pattern, right? And with, uh, and we can work with the cell expansion and make our tasks very easier. So that's all about this small demo. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new testing topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please reach out through my social media link which is mentioned in the description. And if you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.